Paper was like gold in medieval times. I want tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong. Amy and Mike's Brooklyn wedding is headed for disaster. Um, With less than two weeks to go, nothing is planned. And it's all kind of in here. The groom is losing his temper. No, you know it. And the bride has cold feet. I don't want people looking at me in a big white dress saying, oh, you're getting married, congratulations. Just like, go away. Looks like a job for top British wedding planner, Jane Deus Hinch. Now I'm in full blown wedding planning mode. Go. But all the drama may make it impossible for even Jane to save this doomed wedding. I've never seen a bride who doesn't want her wedding day. Amy and Mike are scheduled to walk down the aisle in 12 days. But if they don't get their wedding plans in order, they might be saying, I don't, instead of, I do. In fact, this might be the second wedding they call off. I proposed three years ago in May of 2003. Amy said yes, but then she said no. Yeah, I didn't want to get married. I didn't want to have a big wedding at all. It was maybe cold feet. It was maybe cold feet. And then she just said, I can't do it. I can't do it, she was on my doorstep. Then Amy changed her mind, again. He said, you wanna come back and live with me? We have to get married. I wanted a wedding that was big and a big celebration, really. So Amy agreed to walk down the aisle, but that's where she drew the line. Whatever you wanna do, fine. Don't involve me, don't ask me anything. Just plan the wedding and I'll show up on that day, that's it. So Mike's been trying to plan the wedding on his own and now he's in way over his head. It's definitely become a little bit overwhelming because there are so many details to handle. Michael is a little stressed. Michael is flipping out. Then what is the problem? If the wedding doesn't turn out just the way you want, then it's too bad. Your fault. They need help. Enter Jane Deus Hinch, a British wedding planner who will grant Amy and Mike three wishes to save their wedding from certain disaster. But will the clueless couple use their wishes wisely? And will anything they do be good enough for a wedding planner with high standards and even higher heels? Hi. Right then, I got your SOS. You wanna tell me what's the problem? I was really scared to meet her. I was really scared. And it's no wonder. Mike and Amy's wedding is in 10 days, and their plans are in shambles. We have music. You've met with the organist. No. We've got a florist. Have you seen the mock-up of your bouquet of what it's going to look like? Um, no. All I know is I have a florist, like 1700 bucks. <laughs> Michael's cool. Michael's relaxed. Michael thinks he's got it all under control. He has no idea. Cake? Two, three. Um, I don't know. Uh -huh. You don't know what the cake looks we, like? We might discuss that. We'll no. discuss that tonight. There is so much work to do. I can't tell you. And this is just an overview for me. <laughs> I'm happy that a lot of the planning has been done. It wasn't really planning, was it? It was, it was <laughs> like the planning. Booking. He's a it was, good it was booker. Booking. The state of this couple's wedding is in a, a mess. She just looks terrified. If I actually said how I felt, I could really scare him. Instead, Jane goes back to her office to work on a plan to save Amy and Mike's wedding. We have a week to do this. And the happy couple? They start stressing over deadlines. I can't work on wedding stuff at school. So? So? So work on wedding stuff, I'm gonna tell you. I have to work on lesson plans. I've been doing work, wedding stuff at work for the past two months. 
Don't use it's it. It's not going to get done tomorrow. Know. It's got to get done tomorrow. It's got to get done. We have to fax it to him. Shut up. You just said, I'm not going to do it tonight. I'm not going to do it tomorrow. It's not going to get done. That's going to get done. So do it. No, you do it. You do it. I'm done doing it. <laughs> All right? With Amy and Mike at each other's throats, <laughs> Jane arrives with her plan of action. I'll probably be in shell shock when she tells me what we have to do. I'm afraid she's going to tell me that, you know, I'm completely f***ed up and, you know, how the hell is she ever going to make this wedding come out good? But it's not just up to Jane. She can only grant Mike and Amy three wishes. The rest, they'll have to do themselves. I think we could, yeah, all right. We need to go and see cake person. We've got to go and see the florist, sort out the bouquet, the corsages, the buttonholes. This is a week too late. I know, that is actually making me nervous when I think about it. I just got a sinking feeling in the pit of my stomach. Rings. We, we need the friggin' rings. Could you, could you get us some rings, please? Have you got a contract for the DJ? Michael, this isn't the price. Tell me this isn't the price. But that's the price. We're talking here just under £2,000. I couldn't believe you've paid that. I know. At the end of the day, it all comes down to this. What is it all costing? I've done a little bit of back of the envelope calculation. I'm hoping that um, the hall will let us open up all the envelopes and deposit them into our bank account before we have to pay. Photographer. Hmm. That is huge. The cheesy pictures that I see, I think are ridiculous. Jane, for our first wish, can you come with us to the photographers tonight and help get everything sorted out? Yep, yeah, no problem. If we have this whole day and it's not captured how they want it and they don't get the album of photographs that they want, to me, that would be such a shame. Coming up, will Jane snap at the photographer studio? And will Amy call the whole thing off? Can't happen again. I can't deal with that. Amy and Mike's Brooklyn wedding is in dire straits. In fact, the bride doesn't even want a wedding. Oh my God, I don't want to get married if this is what it is. Ugh. In order to get their big day back on track, British wedding planner Jane Deus Hinch will grant Amy and Mike three wedding wishes. My first wish was for Jane to come to the photographers. Amy and Mike are scheduled to take pictures in a studio, but that's an idea that seems foreign to Jane. Hello. Hello. I'm Richard. Hello, Richard. I'm Jane. It's unusual for me to hear that we come from the church to a studio and then go to the reception. Okay. I haven't heard of that before. This is kind of a New York tradition. Right. We do have a beautiful outdoor garden. Also, we have two indoor studios. So that's why you should come back here with the bridal party. That was something completely new for me. And he said, but that's what New York couples do, so I go along with that. But I just couldn't visualize Amy in her wedding dress going round in this garden. Dirty. See, out here we'll take pictures in front of the gazebo. It was like a, a, a garden with a pagoda and a fountain and a room and... Is the gazebo going to be, like, clean or something? Yeah, sure. With Jane, I could really see what he was trying to offer me. It was dingy, it was small, it was really awful. So this is when I said, well, can't we do photographs at the church and at the reception? Why do we have to come back here? So Jane keeps the photographer, but she ditches the sketchy studio. Then Amy tries to ditch the rest of the wedding plans. Dress fitting. I'm just going to forget about the wedding. It could go either way at the moment. She could play her ace card. She could say, it's all off. So, while Mike meets with the priest, Jane sits down with the reluctant bride for a heart-to-heart. -heart. I've never had the situation, ever, Amy, where I've had a bride miserable on a wedding day, ever. You got a great guy. He's doing everything. He's organizing everything. Hello, this is a man. But at the end of the day, I haven't got a happy bride, have I? Amy was in tears the entire time. I mean, she could barely speak. But eventually, Amy opens up to Jane. Okay. You know, I don't have a father to walk me down an aisle. Yeah. So? So? 
I can, I, do you want me to show you 20 brides the same? Why doesn't your mum? Well, my mum can't walk because she's in a wheelchair. OK. So she can't. I want to see Amy go to her brother. She's never asked him to walk her down the aisle. My brother and I don't talk, ever. She's worried about her brother walking her down the aisle. They've never been very close. That's my mother's fault. Started with the whole brother thing. She, all she wants in life is for us to be together. And he and I do not see eye to eye. I want them to be close, because if I'm not around, they only have each other. So what I'm going to do for wish number two is get them to sit down and let's see if we can sort all this out. Because at the end of the day, all we want is a very happy bride. But before Jane grants Amy and Mike's second wish, they head off to see the wedding cars. First, Amy checks out the car she'll be riding in. Ooh, not so impressed. What about the crack in the window? You think you can get it fixed by Sunday? Things only get worse when Amy sees the limo for the bridal party. The only thing that I'm concerned about is the smell. It smells really like, you smell it, right? It stinks like feet and ass here. I want the other one across the street. And how much was that one? $800. Mike will do anything to make his fiance happy. So he pays the difference and gets Amy the limo that she thinks is more fitting for a bride than a stripper. Now it's time for Jane to act as mediator between Amy and her older brother. This is the second wish. This is, to me, not something I usually do. Um, usually I'm here to do the organizing, uh, to sort things out like the photographer. Not so much family issues, but this is the big one. This is what's going to make or break this wedding. If I can have my mom walk me down the aisle, I would, but she can't walk down the aisle. So I would rather walk myself. But my mom decided that I was going to be my brother. I'm Jane from England. I'm a wedding planner. What I do basically is come in and grant three wishes. So we've granted the one wish. Amy, what's your second wish? Are you ready for this? I need to talk to Michael. I need you to help me sort out my day and my brother and me. I just want, like, this day to be the beginning of a relationship that we have because, I don't know, I, I feel like we don't really have a relationship. She wants to be able to feel as though you're on her side. Yeah, I'm always on your side. I know you're on my side, but, I mean... You want it to just magically happen? All right, and magically, everything will be fine. No, it's not about magic, it's just like about no pretenses. Sorry, I'm sorry you feel all these bad things about me. I'm just trying to find out right. how do I make Amy happy on her wedding day? Are you walking Amy down the aisle? I don't know. I like that. I like you to walk down the aisle. Whatever you want to do, Amy, it's your day, and I'm your brother, and I'm here for you. Don't you start crying on me. It's don't okay to cry. Start. Crying is good. Yeah. Oh, crying yeah, let's do it good. now so we don't have it on the day. Yeah. Crying is good. And she's crying because she's happy, I think, right? Oh, there we go. There we go. That's all she wanted. Yes. Did you get your wish? Uh-huh. Whether or not it changed our relationship right now, I know that in the future it will mend and be, we will become closer. But that doesn't mean Amy and Mike are out of the woods yet. He's ordered his wedding ring online. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Eight days ago, Mike and Amy's wedding was in shambles. The bride didn't even want to get married. Why do we have to plan so big ass wedding for? Then, British wedding planner slash fairy godmother Jane Deus Hinch arrived. She saved them from the photographer's house of horrors and cured a case of sibling rivalry. Now, Amy's looking forward to her big day. That's pretty much sums it up. Now I'm going to get what I want. But it might be too late. There's only three days left, and Amy's still not sure about the flowers. I like this one better. The tuxes aren't ready. Everybody's been in except for two people who actually went to the wrong place. 
and the brides do just will not do. Can I just wear my hair like this for the wedding? And that's only the tip of the iceberg. Confident they can get it all done, Amy and Mike cash in their last wish. But it could be their biggest mistake yet. Did they ask me to check on the cake? No. Did they ask me to go and sort the DJ? No. They want a dance lesson. Just Michael dancing like he does. He dances like he's swimming in water. At least they've got the priorities right. But a wish is a wish. So Jane hires a dance instructor to teach Amy and Mike some fancy footwork. Michael, what time do you call this? Late. Late? Because you know you only book for an hour. I'll teach you a couple of steps, you know, so you have a little fun. Sounds great. So usually she leads because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. We can't dance together. <laughs> Dancing together is something that requires coordination and synchronization and knowing what you're going to do and even knowing what it's all about. So good, good. Come closer. Go ahead, side step. Okay. <laughs> so that was your third wish. Yes, thank you. Can so we get much. another? No. Fresh out of wishes, oh. the couple discovers Mike's wedding band is out of stock. But hey, there's always the internet. It's rounded edges. Get the rounded edges. It's going to be so much nicer. I don't want that one. Amy, it's not your ring. Now this is more agonizing. Why? Oh, God. No. Get it for your FedEx today. Tomorrow's the big day. And even if the ring shows up, the groom may not. I was feeling like overwhelmed. What if Michael gets cold feet? Ten days ago, Mike and Amy's wedding was headed for disaster. But then, their fairy godmother arrived in the form of hotshot wedding planner, Jane Deus Hinch. Jane granted Amy and Mike three wedding wishes. Jane saved them from the photographer's slimy studio, solved some family problems that were making Amy miserable. I'm sorry you feel all these bad things about me. And for the third and final wish, Jane arranged a dance lesson. <laughs> Hopefully, all the hard work will pay off. Now that the big day is finally here. Everything looks peachy in Brooklyn where Amy's getting ready. Oh my God! Over in Staten Island, Mike's not looking so hot. I'm like, this is not gonna do me any good to be crazy now, so I'm just waiting. Maybe it has something to do with the ring he ordered on the internet. That ain't gonna work. It's still not working? That's it. That's, not going, that's it's not going on? Going. <laughs> Push! It's, just put all the Vaseline all right, you, you want the ring on the inside without, the, without it showing on the outside and, and more, a little more Vaseline on her side. At least, Mike only has one ring to worry about. Jane's circus has three rings. If you'd like to make your way into church, please. If you'd like to make your way into church, please. Anyone else going into church? Finally, the guests are seated, the photographer is ready, and the only thing left is for Amy to walk down the aisle on her brother's arm. The one thing that we wanted to achieve right from the minute that I met Amy was to have a bride that walked down the aisle with a smile on her face. All she's done is smile all the way through. I cannot believe that's Amy. Jane is a genius. Jane can pray all she wants. Mike's ring is never going to fit. The rings? Could you believe that after all of that, Michael's ring, it did come, but it didn't fit. Today, Mike and Amy had the wedding that they wanted, and more. We are now going to the wedding reception. 
This I have to say. Now, normally, the reception is the icing on the cake. But with this wedding, there is no cake. I'm just trying to find the cake. The wedding cake? Is it, are we making it or is it being delivered? Where is the cake? Good question. The cake's nowhere to be found, but Mike's big concern is keeping hydrated. And that has Jane worried about the first dance. All that work for that first dance could just go out the window. The first dance, wasn't that magical? Wasn't that the best? Wasn't that that third wish? Wasn't it perfect? While Mike and Amy show off their new moves, Jane finally tracks down the cake. Turns out, it was in the kitchen all along. This is just very different. I'm not used to a cake being done during the meal. I've spent 12 days with Amy and Mike here in Brooklyn, and we've had ups and downs, ins and outs and roundabouts, but we've managed to pull off today We've granted the three wishes. It's all come together, and I hope they've had a fabulous wedding. I would have dreaded this day if it wasn't for Jane. Jane has really made a big impact on our life. It was perfect, and there are no regrets. Except for me, I was freaking out for no reason, but Jane was always there to save the day. I was really happy Jane was there. I think it was perfect. It was pretty good. Michael thinks that if I smoke my wedding dress on that day, that'd be the trashiest thing I ever did. I told her, you know, I don't want you smoking on our wedding day because when you say I do, I don't want you to say I do. I guarantee you I will be running outside with my cousins smoking cigarettes in my wedding dress. No, Colin, please. I swear to God, I'm gonna kill you. 